This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. So you got macaroni, ravioli, and pie. Okay. There you go. All of a sudden, the trio is forced into a triple threat match at breakdown by Vince McMahon. It's a cage match. Rocky's going to get the win after mankind hits Shamrock with a chair. And instead of pinning him, Foley goes to escape and rock just crawls over and pins Shamrock. So the finish kind of makes Foley look moronic, but still, uh, does it, if he loves the rock. Okay. Did it for the rock. <laughs> Raw has a main event with Shamrock mankind and the rock taking on Kane and undertaker Shamrock gets a gigantic face pop when he puts taker in the ankle lock. And it feels like the wheels are in motion for Shamrock to turn heel, but I don't know that we're ready yet. Shamrock instead wins the IC title in a one night tournament. And boy, he is a badass heel at this point. He goes through Steve Blackman, Val Venus, X-Pac. It's so fun to think about Ken as, as the top heel. Uh, he gets the win over mankind here to retain his IC title at judgment day. Pretty innovative finish. Shamrock has mankind in the ankle lock and to block the pain from the ankle Foley starts punching himself in the head and then pulls out his hair and finally puts the mandible claw on himself to pass out. Uh, Shamrock goes nuts when Finkel announces it's the claw that gave him the victory. He hits all the referees until Foley puts him down with Mr. Sacco. Shamrock gave it three and a quarter stars, but man, Foley and Shamrock here were just tremendous. Were they not? Yeah, they were, and I, and I love the finish because, and I believe that was Mick's idea to get to that finish, and it was just absolutely classic because no one would have ever called that. No doubt. So Shamrock Austin is put together on the night that Shane McMahon turns babyface on his father. It's an I quit match. Mankind puts the claw on Shamrock, and Austin hits Shamrock with a chair and uses Shamrock's hand to tap out and gives himself the win. Uh, and now there's all of a sudden talk of maybe Shamrock wanting to return to the UFC. Uh, did this stall him or was, was, I guess it's chicken in the egg. Was he unhappy with his creative, the travel, the money, uh, or was, was him just saying this as an opportunity, maybe what stalled the creative or the travel or the money. I think you'd take the fighter out of the fight and you never take the fight out of the fighter. Okay. And I think that Ken always had this longing to go back to UFC and to fight. So rock and shamrock are new, their rivalry on raw, but it's in opposite roles because now the rock's not a heel. He's a baby face and shamrock's not a baby face. He's a heel. They have a great match on November 2nd in Houston. And it really is amazing to see the progression from the first time these guys hooked it up back in 97 to here in 98. Their one year evolution is really special. Is it not? Oh, absolutely. And, and you got to see both guys grow over, you know, kind of similar time frames and experience really. And both guys grew a ton and blossomed big time during those years. So let's, uh, let's mention Ken Shamrock is actually in the first ever hardcore title defense by mankind. Uh, and he's going to lose the match when boss man interferes under Vince McMahon's orders. And this is set up. So everyone thinks that Foley is with Vince when it's really Rocky. And this is probably some of the best work that Ken did during his entire WWF run. Is it not? Because it was character driven. And yeah. I think that's what, you know, what helped and got people more interested and, you know, to your point, when he did more character stuff, you cared more. So the rock defeats Shamrock in the semifinals on the WWF title tournament at survivor series. But the next night, the corporation is formed around the rock and boss man and Shamrock. I'm curious is Ken needed for this group. It feels, I don't know. Mishmash. Yes. The whole, that to me, that whole corporation at that time was mishmash. It just was kind of, oh, you're walking down the hall, whoever you bump to you're in the corporation. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.